Hey guys, great job taking some time out to do a Pilates workout. In this cardio session, we are staying down on our mat, working on strengthening our bodies from head to toe and getting our heart rate up along the way as well. When you're ready, we're going to sit upright facing the short edge of our mat and sitting up nice and tall on our sitting bones. Just give your shoulders a roll, warming up into our upper bodies. Take a big inhale and exhale, circle those shoulders around. We're gonna reach the hands forward and exhale, slowly tuck your tailbone under and peel back vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down until you're lying on your back. Give your knees a hug, just lengthen into your lower back. Give them a rock from side to side. Plant the feet down, keep them hip distance apart and just rotate the knees from side to side. Exhale as you rotate, just windscreen wiper those legs just to wake up our hip joints and wake up and mobilize into our spines, into some rotation. Exhale as those knees swing off to one side. We're here just for four more. And then in three, in two, meet me with those legs parallel in one. Bring the arms by your side, take a big inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, pelvic tilt, and keep peeling one vertebrae at a time all the way up into your bridge. Shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. Exhale, melt and lengthen your spine all the way back down. Stay here as you peel up. Can you peel both arms up off the mat and keep them there as you peel and lengthen your spine back down. We're here for three more bridge rolls. Exhale up and exhale, peel back down. Two more, really try and find length into your spine on the way up, but also on the way down. On the last one, hold your bridge at the top, tuck, peel, lift. We're going to stay here. Send the hands to the sky, check in that the lower ribs are melting in and down, that the glutes are drawing towards each other. We're just gonna hold our bridge here. Glutes wrapping around those hip bones, shoulders relaxed. We're going into 12 little pulses at the top. Exhale, squeeze as you press. Here for 10 more, nine, in eight, seven, six. We're going to hold our bridge in four, in three, in two, hold at the top. And we're going to inhale, fold just off the mat this time. Exhale, press and squeeze. And I want you to try and come down three, two, one, normal lift. Three, two, one, normal press. So slowly lower, folding at the hips, normal press up, squeezing those glutes. Eight more. In seven. Six. Press, squeeze. Five. Hopefully your glutes are starting to warm up. Mine definitely are. We are here for two and we're going to hold the bridge in one. Slow, lower, press and hold. Keep that core drawn in, keep those glutes activated, squeezing, helping to keep you pressed up. You can rest your hands gently on your hips to check what they're doing if that helps. We're going into a single heel lift and lower, alternating legs. If you've got this under control and those hips are staying nice and level, progress it to a march. Exhale, center, march. Here, just for 10 more. Whew. When that foot leaves the mat, I don't know about you, but I can feel those glutes working hard to stabilize those hips. In four more, exhale, center, press. We are here in two. And on the last one, can you lift and hold that march? Option is just to hold, bring the foot down if you need. Option is to add six little presses at the top. Five, four, three, on that single leg. One, change sides. Exhale, center press, just hold if you need. Or little lift and lower, single bridge. Six, five, four, three. Hips stay level, nice and strong. Lower down. Take a big breath in and exhale. Peel your spine down. Send the hands to the sky, take a breath in. 
As you exhale, slide lift one leg and then the other leg into your tabletop. Make sure the tummy is not doming out. We're staying here for some dead bugs. Exhale, light as tap, meet in tabletop. Tap and meet. We're going into some abdominal work. So focus on your breathing. Are your shoulders nice and relaxed away from your ears? We're here for six more. Exhale, center, five. Is your, are your hip bones staying nice and steady? Or are they rocking? Try and keep them steady. In two and one. Your option is to put both feet on the mat here. A little bit easier, a little bit more stable. Otherwise, staying here, take a breath in. Exhale, we curl up into a Pilates crunch. We're gonna hold our Pilates crunch here, staying scooped in through that tummy. And we're going back to our dead bugs with those legs. Exhale, center, tap and lift, tap and lift. Just for 10 more, nine, eight. So we're curling up with our abdominals, seven. So we keep that soft tuck in with the chin, five. So our head and neck is nice and supported and controlled, three, through this lift, in two, and one, stay in tabletop if you can. We lower, exhale, center, crunch. Inhale, control that lower, breathing out, crunching, curling up. 10 more. Nine, as you curl up, think about your ribs gliding down towards your hips. Squeeze those legs together. Six more. In five, we're staying in the crunch, if you can. In three, my gosh, I'm already shaking. In two, exhale, curl up, crunch and hold. Last one, stay here. Can you do 12 little reaches? 11, 10, nine, like you're reaching for your post-workout dessert, five, four, three, whatever that is for you, two, one, hold, slowly lower, exhale down one foot and then the other, good job, we're going to send the legs long, send the arms long to the sky, take an inhale, we're doing a roll up, so exhale, soft tuck with the chin, peel up, vertebrae by vertebrae, reach, restack, exhale, so if you find roll ups difficult, you can stay with just your half roll backs at the top otherwise off we go we're going to roll back down vertebrae by vertebrae exhale roll restack focus on that control reach strong and plant both feet down into the mat and keep them squeezing that will help to stabilize your lower body so your abs basically have nowhere to hide and will work harder for us. We're here for four more. Exhale up, exhale down. Three more, really reach and stack. Two more, reach, glide those lower ribs down towards the hips. Two more. All right, home stretch. On the last one, curl on up. I want you to bend the knees. I want you to tuck the tailbone under, scooping in through that lower tummy. Keep that C shape with the lower spine. We're gonna lift one leg off the mat and then the other leg up into our low boat. Holding here, squeeze the legs together, lift those shins up off the mat. So we're holding our low boat here. You can either stay here with single toe taps, that's, or just hold your roll back, low boat. Otherwise, if you want the more advanced option, we're gonna roll down, keep one leg in tabletop. Exhale, roll up, both legs meet. Exhale, roll back, one leg tabletop. Exhale, roll, scoop, and meet. Once you've got that movement, 
Keep the control, but pick up the pace for eight. Whoop. Seven. Scooping in. Six. Five more. Who is shaky like me? Three more. Four more. <laughs> I tried to carve off one or two repetitions there. <laughs> Three. Two. Last one. Knee in low boat. Stay here, scoop in through your tummy. Can you stay here for 10 more seconds? Your progression option is double arm lift and lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll everything down. Give your knees a hug. Give your back a rock. Lengthen into the lower back. We're going to roll on to our side. Your option is to stay down here, lying on the arm. Your progression is to lift up onto the forearm. Hips are stacked. We're not sinking into the upper body. I want you to press the forearm away from the mat. Keep the hips stacked. Keep a broad chest facing me. We're going to lift the leg up, send it long, stay lengthened through both sides of the waist. We're coming into a little sweep forward. Exhale, press back. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, press. Drawing a line forward and pressing it back, rubbing it out with the heel. So draw the line with the toes, sweep forward, press back with the heel, rub it out. We're here for six more, exhale, press. And in five, we're going to slide the leg forwards in four and keep it there if you can. In three, exhale, press. In two, off we go. Slide forward, point the toe, stay here. Can you do a light tap and lift? Light tap and lift just for eight more. Press here for seven. In six, exhale, press. Five. In four, three, and two, last one, lift, press. Keep the toes pointed, little circles backwards just for 12, 11, core stays drawn in, nine, eight, if it's too much on the forearm, come on down, lying on the side, in four, three, two, one, bring that leg home, give your glutes a little pat. We're staying in our kneeling forearm position here. Swing the feet behind the knees. We're gonna exhale, press the hips forwards and up. Inhale, fold back and down. Exhale, forwards and up. Inhale, back and down. Really press strong into the forearm. Keep these hip bones stacked. In five more, we're going to press and hold. In four, and repeat some glute work. In three, exhale, center. Two, are you ready? Press up and hold. Last one, send the leg long. Hips are stacked. Exhale, little lift, lightest tap. Little lift. Can you reach this hand to the sky? Keep focused on your breathing, just for six more. In five, in four, Four, keep going with control. Three, we are here for two and one. Can you stay at the top and pulse, pulse, pulse just for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring that leg home, come back and down. We're coming straight on to our forearms here. We're going to tuck the toes under. We're coming into a hover, lift and hold. So stay here for one or two cat cows. Find that lengthened neutral spine. Press the mat away from you with the hands. Lift the chest away from the mat. Hover the knees just off the mat. Hold that hover hold here. Holding here, your progression is to step out, out, in, in. If you're feeling really well controlled there, pick up the pace. Out, in, alternate starting legs. We're going to add in some cardio elements here. 
but you can always scale them back and slow the movement down if you need. Keep the hips level. We're here just for 10 more seconds. Keep breathing. In five, it's actually surprisingly hard to coordinate the legs. Three, two, and one. Home, lower those knees down. Come up, give your shoulders a circle. We're coming straight back down. And the leg closest to me, I want you to slide it out, send it up, and I want you just to hold it there, folding at the hips to do four push-ups, three, in two, and then in one. Hold it there and pulse, 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 pulse. So it's eight pulses, four push-ups. Inhale down, exhale press. Three, folding at the hips, in two, we stay lifted, one, and we do our little pulses back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're doing two more rounds of our push-ups. Pick up the pace a little bit if it feels good. Off you go, pulse it out. Eight, four, three, two, last round. Inhale down, pick up the pace if you can. One, off we go, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg home. We're going to, your option here is to do your commando in four point kneel with the knees down, otherwise it's in full plank. So if you're in full plank, we do four, three, two, and then we run out mountain climbers for four, three, two, one. Off we go, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, two more rounds. We've got this, four, exhale up, two, and one. Off we go, four, three, two, last round. Off we go, four, three, two, and one, run it out. Four, three, two, one. Well done, lower your knees. Have a sit in the center of your mat. Give your shoulders a circle, a little shrug. And when you're ready, we're going straight onto the other side. So lying on your side if you need. Otherwise, lift up onto your forearm. Stack the hips, feet are in line with your tailbone. We're gonna exhale, lift, send that top leg long. You know what to do. Sweep with the toes, press with the heel. Inhale and exhale just for 10. While you're here, check in that you're lifted through that lower waist, that your hips are staying nice and stacked. In six, we sweep forwards and stay there. Five. In four, we've got this. Three. In two, sweep forwards, staying here in one. 10, lift. Nine, on that diagonal. Eight. Seven. Six, exhale, press. In four, three. Two, stay here if you can, one, and sweep back. Circles backwards, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it home straight into our kneeling plank. Lift and lower, feet are behind the knees. Exhale, press, fold. Keep going if you can. I have a feeling you're doing amazing. So if you're feeling good and you can keep going, press on. Six more, you get it because we're pressing. Five, it's a bad joke. In four, we're going to lift and hold. In three, and we're adding in some glutes work again. Two, off we go, run the home stretch. Lift and hold. Send that top leg long, lift, lightest tap, lift here for 10. Press up with those glutes in eight. Can you reach up to the sky? Seven, we lift and hold in six and we pulse. Five, we've got this. Four, 
three, press up with control and lower with control. Lift and hold. Pulse at the top just for 10, nine, eight, seven. Really lengthen that leg. Four, three, two, one. Bring it home, lower down. Well done, swing straight into your four point kneel. We're going to exhale, slide the other leg out long and lift it on up. We do our four push-ups, we do our four pulses. So squeeze in, lift up through that core. Inhale, fold, press. Three, in, two, and one. Stay here and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three more rounds. Pick up the pace if you're feeling good. And one, off we go. Eight, seven, six. Keep lifted through that core. Really press with the glutes. Two more rounds. We're on the home stretch. Pulse it out. Eight. We're on to our last round here. Off we go. Lengthen that leg. Four, three, in two, and one. Pulse it out. Last round. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it home. Okay, we're finishing off with one or two exercises and then we stretch out. Hands in front of the shoulders, tuck the toes under. You're going from hover to plank for 12. So hover, plank, and just hover just off the mat. 11, 10, so pressing away from the mat with the hands, pressing forward into the plank with the feet. Five more, in four, you're going to hold the plank. If you can, final exercise. Two, off we go. Hold your plank, one. So your option is side tap, side tap, lift and lift. Otherwise, jump out for two, lift for two. Out, out, in, lift and lift. We're not here long. If you've got the movement, pick up your pace. We're here for 15 more seconds. Pick up the pace if you can. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower those knees, sink your hips back. Give your shoulders a circle, big circle back, just like how we started. Give your wrists a rotate. Take a few relaxed breaths. Just let your breath settle back down. Well done. If you stayed with the workout until the end, let's finish off with a few stretches. So back into your four point kneel. Exhale, curl up into your angry cat back. Inhale, shine your chest forward. Then you can do some circles with your hips and your chest here instead and change directions if that feels good. Just move however you feel a nice stretch in to your spine and around those hips and shoulders. We're here just for three, in two, and in one. We're going to lift and place one leg in front of our body into our pigeon stretch. Just opening out into the hip, feeling an amazing stretch from all of our glutes work. Take an inhale and as you exhale, try and sink this hip bone of this leg in front, just down in towards the mat for a deeper stretch. One more breath in and exhale, ease in to that stretch. Last breath, inhale, exhale, melt. And tucking the back toes under, we unfold the front leg and change sides. Finding that turnout into this hip, finding the length into the back leg, keeping the hip bones nice and square. And as you breathe, into this stretch as you exhale see if you can just relax this hip bone down into the mat just a little bit further to deepen the stretch stay here for one more breath 
inhaling and exhaling, sinking. Then tuck the toes under, unfold that front leg and I want you to wave your body back into a downward dog, pressing open the chest, sending the sitting bones to the sky. If it feels good just to pulse into those heels, you can do that just for six. In five, four, three, two, and one. Wave your body back into your plank. Lower those knees. Stay here for just one more big inhale. Filling into those lungs, lengthening the spine. Exhale, let it all go. Shake it out and you are done. Great job, everyone.